Okay, what is up everybody? I'm at an undisclosed location, as per a lot of my videos, and I'm getting ready to explore a cave. I kind of got, I got makeshift. Let me put this camera down here and give you an idea of what I'm working with. I got a makeshift flashlight system. So this little cave, it's along a road, but I'm not gonna tell you where it's at. If you discover it, cool. If not, it's all mine. But uh, I got this little flashlight a uh, little coast guy it's a LED and then I got this cheap little flashlight on the bottom and the bottom ones to keep the uh, the bottom sonar sensor so it can read the ground because there's not going to be any satellites in there or anything like that it's very dark so I'm gonna see how far I can go into this little cave over yonder and uh, there's I've been in there before um, the video that I made before I can find it right there or right there, wherever it's, wherever the little annotation is. Um, I've walked in there before, but there's this little pathway that goes up into like another chamber. But uh, if I have any like doubts about you know sending this thing up in that little path chamber, then I'm not going to do it. But all right, I'll figure I'll keep the camera rolling and do a commentary while I do this. I don't, I don't do that very often on my videos, but uh, I'll do it on this one. If you're watching, I kind of want you to follow along with what I'm feeling when I do this. I exercise extreme caution while doing this. So I've already tested the setup here with the flashlights and it does fly quite nicely. It's a little hard getting everything together to get this going. I guess I don't need to yell the microphones right here. <laughs> um, all right, turn on the flashlights real quick in the brightest setting. Okay, bottom one's on the brightest setting. All right, I got my ISO set to auto here. I'll find my controller, there we go. All right, make sure. Okay. Gonna kind of let it take off out of my hand here. Am I in frame? Yeah, okay, cool. And we'll do a little commentary as we fly into this cave. Okay, she's off. Recording now. It's gonna make a nice little entrance into this cave. So I got my ISO set on auto and the max is up to 1600, so we'll see how it does when we fly in here. Like I said, I've been in this thing before, but it's always just a little creepy. And this right here, directly forward, is a chamber that I've always been curious about, but. Uh, let me see if the bottom flashlight's shining. Yes, see that light right there? That way the, see? Still says ambient light, just a little too weak. And it's dancing around in there more than I want it to. But that's the little chamber right there I'd like to get closer to, but I'm not gonna risk it too much. Let's go back into this chamber a little bit. Wow, a lot of dust in there. Hoping some freaking bear don't pop out of there. <laughs> it's 
kind of catching its own backdraft of wind too. So this chamber goes beyond there a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it losing $1,200 drone. I know you, the viewer, probably want to see that, what's up in there. But I'll come back up here sometime when I can actually wade across the river, get some waders or something, and go into the cave and stand in there while I'm looking up in here. I need my flashlight tilted just a little bit higher. Yeah. Sorry. If that cost me anybody subscribing, then I'm sorry. I think if you had this expensive drone and have to work for it yourself, you'd understand. But let's take one more peek at this interesting chamber over here. Yeah. All right, getting a little close there. Very unknown, mysterious cave. I'm gonna wanna fly up in here so bad. If I was guaranteed this video would get like a, you know, 100,000 views and I actually got compensated for it, enough to buy a new drone, I'd do it. <laughs> but I don't wanna lose something in there and per se disturb wildlife or whatever, so. All right, start making our way back out. We'll take one last look. DJI is, Avada 2 is definitely a game-changing drone for exploration like this. I love this, this type of stuff. Is this graffiti right here? No, that's just part of the cave. Creepy creeper thing. And when I get up there, I can start feeling or seeing it in the camera, the updraft of the drone is blowing it up and it'll end up hitting the ceiling. I don't want to crash it in there. So, all right, that'll be it. Get out the door here, then take one final look. Boom. Let me go a little sm smoother motion here so you can see what's going on around here. So yeah, it's just literally a nice little rock here beside the river, little opening. I'm sure people have been in there before. I've never seen any videos about it. It's probably a portal to another dimension, but we'll find out next time when I can actually walk up to it. All right, bring her on home. see you as folks. Alright, appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next video. Peace.